how to sell digital products on Equid. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your e-commerce store on Equid and start selling your digital products. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to do is go on to Equid.com and Equid.com is a platform where you can create your store for free online without having to pay for any kind of web hosting or without having to pay for any domain names you can start selling today. So we're just going to click on get started for free at the top right over here. And once you do that, you're going to be led to the registration page on on Equid. So you can sign up with your Apple account, with your Facebook account, or with your Google account, or you can set up your account with your email. So I'm just going to do that and get back to you guys in a second. Now, once you have signed up and created your Equid account, this is going to be a basic dashboard. Now, on your dashboard, you have your reports, you have abandoned cart automations, and all of your general analytics. Now, on the left, you have your entire toolbar, where after your reports or your basic dashboard, you have your sales section, then you have your product catalog, then you have your marketing overviews, then you have your general reports. Below that, you have your overview for your entire Equid store. So for anything you want to integrate into your, into your Equid platform, Platform, you can do it from here below that you have your website settings you have your Facebook and Instagram connections you have TikTok connections you have your mobile app application so where you can start designing and managing your website from your iPhone and iPad or Android then you have other channels as well and then you have your website design your payment setup your shipping and pickup setups your general settings for your store so your taxes and your legal information you have your app integration and then your basic account settings now to get started with selling your own digital services you're you're just going to go into your basic website design first and you can change up the overall look from here and once you are satisfied with the look of your items you can start adding your items so you don't need to worry about actually you know reporting these as digital items and not physical items because all you need to do is just skip shipping and pickup setup so you can just skip this and all of your items are automatically going to be categorized as a digital product so for this you're just going to go into your catalog section on the left over here it's third from the left and you're going to click on add new product over here and now you can start uploading images so first off you're going to name your service or your digital product so let's say this is an nft then you're going to add a distinctive sku number so sku numbers are used to define certain items and then what you're going to do is you're going to uncheck this box so this does not have a weight or anything like that because this does not require shipping or pickup so this is an item that is going to be available online Line, then you can add any description you want for your product and you're just going to click on save over here once you have done that you're going to add your price so whatever price there might be you're going to click on save and once you have done that you have your basic listing completed now for actual listings you're actually going to add a lot more detail so let's say we are doing a course so if we're doing english course and we have the sku number over here it does not require shipping or pickup we have the price of 50 dollars over here then you're going to go into the attribute section so you can add any kind of specific brand names or upc then you have options where you can add different variable options so first off if you click on option number one you can write one week course URSE, and then you can add another value where you can add this is going to be in a drop down list and then we're going to do add another value and we're going to do one month course and then we are going to add a increased price so we want the plus section over here and we're going to do if it's fifty dollars for a one week course then we're going to do it maybe add a hundred dollars for a entire monthly course like this and then you can add new value you can do a three month course and then you're going to add three hundred dollars like so well, let's say we have we're going to do it at a discount of 3.99 and we can set one as the default value so you can see over here that once you have done that you're just going to click on save and now your different options for your digital product have been added up as well you can add your shipping and pick up options if it is a physical product but you're going to make sure you have disabled those over here and after that you have your options and files so you can upgrade to sell digital goods if you want but you can easily sell your digital goods directly like this and just uh, send the digital goods as soon as your orders are placed and automate that function now next up you have your seo ratings and you can also improve those 
by signing up on the premium version of Equid, but you can find a lot of SEO optimizers even without having to sign up for the premium version of Equid. After that, you can add a related product section. So you can assign certain products to appear below a certain product once it has been opened. So if someone is opening the English course for one week, maybe in the related products, I want to sell the English notebook or the English guide or the English voiceover guide or something like that. So you can add related products over there as well. And next up, you have your buy now button. So you can embed this product into a custom setup so you can make it a full size column or anything like that. And you can generate a code. And once your code is ready, you can copy and paste it onto your store and have this buy now button appear over there. So we're just going to click on add new product over here. And I'm just going to add this product. So now that this has been added, I'm going to go back and you can see over here. Now, once you have added your products, you can enable and disable them when they are in stock or out of stock. And there are other options as well. So with your product, you can even make it appear on sale or on a discount. So if you just select it over here and let's say we want to disable or enable it, you can do that. You can also increase prices or reduce prices and you can delete items as well. Now, once you have your products ready, you can just do go back to your dashboard and if you go back scroll down on your left you can go into your design section and change this up once you have your design section set up you're just going to go into your website overview so over here on your left you have your website overview you're going to click on the overview and you can just click on the link over here to see the products that you have just created so if we go on to our store section over here now you can see over here that my products have been listed and if i go into english course you can see that if it's a one month course at this price but if it's a three month course then the price increases so this is how easy it is to start selling your digital products on equid and if you want to automate this process you can definitely upgrade on to a premium version of equid but i would actually not recommend it now if you're looking to sell your products for free i would suggest using equid but if you want to upgrade on to a premium version then you should go for something like shopify although that's going to cost you a lot more it's going to be worth it and the features that Shopify is going to provide you are going to be far superior than Equid's features. But if you still like the Equid platform and you really just want to upgrade your already running store onto a premium version of Equid, well, you should definitely check out their venture plan where you can start selling e-goods for 25 gigabytes per file. You have a mobile point of sale. You have a store management application, advanced SEO tool, inventory management, tax calculation, discount coupons, abandoned cart savers, and live chat support. Now, if you go up to their business version, you have marketplaces. You can sell e-goods of up to 25 gigabytes per file. So this is why I I don't recommend the business version for someone that is only upgrading for e-goods is that because you're just not going to get any value that is more for the business version than it is in the venture version you have features like ebay us integration or create orders product dimensions and all that but these features aren't going to be useful for you now on the unlimited version as well you can only sell e-goods of 25 gigabytes per file signing up for the unlimited version is going to be too expensive for anyone honestly i don't suggest it in most to all situations just upgrade to the venture version if you feel like it but you can easily start selling for free but the free has some limitations like you can't sell a lot of products on the free version you can only sell like a handful of products and after that you have your store limits so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to start selling your digital goods on equid make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video